Hey guys, it's Rick from Pin Pioneer, and today I'm going to show you how you can social sphere up your Pinterest account to make it link with all your other social platforms Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Delicious, Google, all these really cool, cool platforms to extend your social reach, to extend your viral reach, links, SEO traffic, and potentially even conversions. So it's very cool. Let's get started. Um, if you, Go ahead and open Pin Pioneer. Um, it should look like this. I'm hoping you are familiar with it now. It should open, hopefully, as well. There you go. <laughs> um, so there you go. Um, we have a couple new features, which I'll talk about in a different video. This video is more towards the social sphere aspect of um, Pinterest marketing. But as you usually would do, you would you know click manage, you'd get your accounts in here, you'd do all that kind of stuff. Um, it would be very cool. And then um, what you would do, you'd go to a service that is called ift.com, like so. Now, Ift is similar to Hootsuite and Ping FM in the sense that it can automate auto po posting through different networks. The benefits being, though, with Ift, it's far, it supports a far larger network of social websites. So, apart from the five or six default ones that um, Hootsuite and Ping FM support, Ift supports about two, three dozens of them. So, it's really, really cool. So, let's go ahead and log in and let me show you how it works. So, after you've logged in, actually, after you've signed up, activate your account, all that kind of stuff, you'll get this page. And what we want to do straight away is take a look at these channels uh, page. And these channels are all your social accounts. Now the ones that are now illuminated are the ones that I've registered to my uh, IFT account. Um, in this case, go and add whichever ones you want, whichever ones you um, are going to be using, or whichever ones you want to spread your Pinterest images and videos to. Okay. So in this case, I've got you know all the basics: Twitter, Facebook. You need the feed. This is essential. This you need, um, and you know, Craigslist, whatever else. Okay. So select your channels, and then you will have to go and activate them. It'll ask for your username, credentials. So put that in there as well, and hit activate. Once that's done, there's two ways you can go about this. You can either create what if refers to as a recipe, which is a, um, a function that essentially you know repeats for you. If something happens, do something else. So Facebook release, receives a post, post that as a link on Twitter. So it's really cool because it's not it's not as um not as broad as Hootsuite and Ping FM. It lets you get down into the nitty gritty of your auto posting and automation. So every little thing, whether it's a link, do this. Whether it's a photo, do this. Uh, then do this. It's very very cool. So to start, you can either go ahead and head in just click browse, which is the easier option, and type in Pinterest. Type in Pinterest, and this will give you a bunch of pre-made recipes. "Quote unquote," um, of you know, auto posting, Tumblr, Evernote. Um, let's see, you have Twitter, Facebook, etc. All you have to do, click on one of them. So let's say we want to post to Tumblr. Click on that, and oh, I don't have a Tumblr account. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and you know, click on Facebook. And all you'll have to do is see where it says feed URL. Um, put in your feed URL. So in this case, this person nicely enough has already given us a, has already given us like a framework. Um, but I have included this in your social spheres ebook as well. So let's go here and let's type in, for instance, our username, Red Rabbit Twelve. Okay, that's our feed. And now here we can um, set up what should happen. So in this case, Pinterest will upload a photo from the given URL to Facebook. 20 album. Here we can again get closer and we can select an ingredient and we can add in like entry author or whatever, put that there. Lots of cool stuff we can do if we want to post that. We can put in descriptions, timestamps, we can put in things like, um, I don't know, entry dates when it was created. Lots of cool stuff that you know you wouldn't expect other networks to do or even offer. Here you can you know, um, add in what album you should be posted into, if at all. So that's the very basic broad sense of how this works. I'd have use recipe. And I'll use this pre-made recipe, and as soon as it checks that there's something new posted on my Pinterest page, it will then go ahead and post it to Facebook. I can view it, share it, I can turn it off. I'm going to turn it off for now because I don't actually need it. Um, but then to show you another way of doing this, you can also create your own recipe. I know I'm going really quickly because I wanted to see if you guys can follow, and whether or not it's actually as self-explanatory as it is. Create a recipe, so you can create your own recipe here. If this, then that. So hit if this. Um, Feed, we always need the feed first because 
Pinterest users on our RSS feed and they don't have any other kind of book bookmark that's not gonna sell. So choose a trigger, new feed item. We want that. And we want to put in your Pinterest feed RSS here. Um, again, look at the ones I included in your ebook, uh, which are pretty cool. You have the board and your username. So I'm gonna use my username right here, like so. Create trigger. So now it's gonna check this trigger. If there's something new here, new feed item from that place right there, then do something else. Let's do that. Okay. Then let's say I want to post to Twitter. Okay, now it will automatically post my Pinterest to Twitter. But the best, the really cool thing about this as well, it's not just a post. You can make it choose what it can do. So there's a new thing on Pinterest, post a new tweet, post it to it with an image, add a user to a list, update your biography, whatever it might be. It's very, very, very like intricate and meticulous. So in this case, um, let's go ahead and post a tweet. Okay, likewise, entry your entry title, entry URL, which is what's going to happen. It's going to link directly to the Pinterest page. Um, again, you can edit this stuff up. Create action. Brilliant. So now we've got the first recipe created. We can have as many of these as we want. So we have one from Pinch to Facebook and Twitter to Facebook. And then we can say, let's do Facebook to Tumblr. And then from Tumblr, let's go back to I don't know, Delicious or LinkedIn or whatever. Um, basic post from Pinterest to Twitter. Exciting, right? So now my recipe is created. Now it's going to go out and start using it. Um, it's on right now. I can edit it. I can share it. I can do whatever I want with it. And yeah, that's that. And if I want, I can fire it up because right now it hasn't been actually um, hasn't been loaded for the first time. To do that, just hit the check no check now button. If there's something new on my page, then it will go ahead and post to my account. So that's that. Um, please play around with this. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, to start off, as I said, go ahead to the browse section and add a bunch of existing recipes to your to your um, to your profile. So if there's not Pinterest to something, there'll be Pinterest to something else, and then there'll be that something else to something else. So it's very expandable, very adaptable. Should help you with your social reach. More people will be hit automatically. Should be, help you with your viral atmosphere. Again, if your content is good, there's more chance of being spread around, etc. Again, more links back, you get more traffic and all that cool kind of stuff. So that's all for now. Uh, this has been video number four in P Pen Pioneer. Thanks.